Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BTN HD, and yes, I finally upgraded my Windows 10 virtual machine to the latest build, which I believe it's 149. I know it's a little late, but I had to do it to uh, start testing stuff out. So let's get started. Now, the first thing that I noticed when you on the login screen is that rather than having all your user accounts at the middle of the screen, you're going to have them at the lower left hand side, which is pretty cool. Uh, I'm going to log in. And also, another thing that I noticed is that they changed the look of the eyeball. Nice little redesign, look a little weird. Uh, so let's log in for the first time into our machine. Now this build is really heavily uh, into the new browser, which is Project Spartan, uh, which is right here in this nice little icon right here. But before we start doing that, I want to do a little bit of some of the things that I noticed with the build. Uh, if you go to the start screen and you click on your name, they give you a nice little cool way to switch users. Uh, back on the old builds, as well as Windows 8 and Windows 7, you had to actually, I think, sign off or do a switch user. And then you had to go to other and type in the username and the password and then you log into your new account. Here, it gives you a whole list of all the user accounts that has access to your machine you click on it you log in and then you're in that's pretty cool i like that feature uh they changed the look and feel of all the icons so i'm going to go to the file explorer and my my opinion is that the icons look too cartoony i could be wrong but i want to know what you guys think about that uh but the fonts the feel the look of it it looks real sharp real clean but to me it just looks too cartoony so let's close this up and the next thing that I noticed is the task view. Now, task view has been changed a lot. And uh, let me get out of task view. And I want to open up. Uh, let's open up this window. And let's open up Internet Explorer. The only reason why I, I want to open up Internet Explorer and the Fire Explorer. Because I want to show you guys what's new with the task view. So if I click on task view, what happens is you get this nice little exposed kind of feature. You guys actually seen this during on the Mac side. But rather than having the new desktop or the new view on the middle, they actually put it on the corner. Now, the best thing about the task view now, if you click on new desktop, it gives you a new window, right? But if you click on to the first desktop, uh, like if I go back into this view, you're able to drag and drop that Fire Explorer to desktop two, like this, desktop two. Cool, right? Also, you're able to click on that application. So let's say I want Internet Explorer. So if I click on Internet Explorer, right, and you drag it to new desktop, it would create a new desktop for you. How awesome is that? I really like that feature. When I first clicked on Project Spartan, I got this nice little window, as you can see. It crashed maybe two or three times before it actually loaded in and I started playing around with it. Uh, I did notice that the last page that I was using or checking out was, will be loaded. If you click on this new button, it's going to create a new web note. So let's click on it. And what happens, you get this nice little uh, sub menu. It changes color to purple. It reminds me a little bit of OneNote. Uh, you're able to write. If you uh, click and hold it, it's going to give you multiple options to change the color and the size of the pen. Uh, this is the highlighter. Again, if you click on the highlighter, it gives you a nice little uh, triangle uh, indicating that there's more options. And the, this option right here, I think this is the eraser feature. And this right here is the text feature. And I think this is the cutting feature. And this right here allows you to save and you're able to uh, share your content on the spot. Uh, exits and if you click on the three little dots right here it gives you more option as a new window you're able to zoom in share find on the page print settings and f12 to developer tools now uh, let's go into let's write on something so like like hello and there you go see I don't see myself using this feature a lot on a desktop or laptop uh, environment uh, if you're a person that's using the keyboard and mouse, this feature does not work at all. I do see using uh, Project Spartan on a tablet or a uh, touchable uh, screen. It will work great. The only way that you can actually use this feature on a desktop or a laptop is if you purchase yourself like a Wacom tablet with the pen and you're able to use it this way. 
Uh, but I, I do like this feature. It's like an integrated built-in OneNote feature, right? Uh, so if I click on this little three dots right here and you go to settings, um, these are the only settings that you have so far. You have show your favorite bar, which is off. I'm going to turn that on. Uh, reading view style, these are the only options that they have. Medium, light, dark. Uh, reading view font size, only three. You got four, small, medium, large, and extra large. Startup would be a web page. This is the web page. You can actually change it to a custom one. Uh, use the search engine when searching from the address bar. So you can only use Bing for now. It'd be nice if Microsoft gives us an option to change the search engine. I don't think they will do that. Always use caveat browsing. Caveat browsing uh, lets you select text using the keyboard. Uh, clear browsing data, pop-ups, cookies, send do not track a cool quest. These are all the features that have within Project Spartan. Now, again, I, I don't think this new browser would definitely replace Internet Explorer because this browser will work well for a tablet or a touchscreen device. So let's exit out of this. Another thing that you could do is, you know, you could write some text. Can't really do too much with the text like, hello, hello world. And once you create your hello world, uh, if you click on the little underscore right here, it minimizes it. You click on it. There you go. You're able to delete it. Moving around is a little difficult. You don't get too many options in moving around. That's it. You can't really move around the box. It's really hard to move the box. It'd be nice if um, it, when you put your mouse over the border of the box, it changes to a crosshair, uh, give you the option to move it, but it's it doesn't do that. If you save it, the only options that you get is either save it as a web note on Google. Uh, this is the name. Change the name. Uh, you're able to add it into your favorites, favorite bar, or phone. Uh, one, of the, one of the things that I kind of noticed is that the wording, uh, the text font looks a little bit smush over here. I don't know if it's because of my virtual machine or my display, but if you guys are having the same issue, this is probably a bug. And uh, those are the only options that you have on to um, uh, the saving part. Uh, the sharing parts, you're able to share. And within the share, uh, see Project Spine can't share right now. Try again later. This I'm always getting that same option. So a screenshot, share, screenshot. I could do a screenshot and I could just send it to my OneNote account. And then once you exit, it transform again into a regular browser. Uh, I did notice that the entire taskbar right here looks just one solid color, not really identifying where their address bar is located. The only way that you know that where their address bar is located, if you take your mouse and you just click on the address bar or where their address is located, it will highlight it and change a different color. Uh, they did change the, the way the refresh looks, the arrow buttons look a little sharp. Uh, you got the, still the smiley feedback portion right here. Uh, the feedback portion within Spartans changed a lot. They give you more detail rather than the IE, basically a frown face or a smiley face. Uh, you have the star right here, which adds to your favorite for reading list or reading list. And then you have favorite reading list of history, which gives you a breakdown of all your uh, history, which again, the icons have changed a lot. Uh, three little arrows right here gives you more options. The same thing, same concept. Uh, sharing right here. It's the same thing. You could do a reading list, bookmark for later, or you can add it to your OneNote. And that's it, guys. So far, that's the only things that I saw on the new build, which is uh, 149. I think there's already been a leaked out for 151 or 150. Uh, so many things are happening. I know on the leaked builds, they had the mail app and the calendar app uh, redesigned, and it looks and looks awesome. Uh, hopefully, Microsoft do push that out as soon as possible so I can take a look as well. If you guys have any comments or concerns, leave them at the bottom of the video. Uh, have you been testing out Build 149? What are your thoughts? What do you think about the new uh, browser? Do you think it's going to replace Internet Explorer definitely or what? Uh, from my opinion, I don't think it's going to I don't think it's going to actually eliminate IE because Project Spartan looks like it's going to be used a lot for a tablet environment. I don't think it would work well on a laptop and desktop environment. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Don't forget about hitting the like button and I catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.